Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. So today, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm gonna be finally sitting down to review the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundations. So without any further ado, let's just get into this. Now I have been using this foundation for a bit just to test it out before I give you guys like my whole review situation but I am on the Wet n Wild international website so I can read you guys a description of this foundation so we can kind of have an idea of what it's expected to do. Now the description says it's your skin only better. Now it says our new high performing skin perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camry ready makeup every time specially made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin a hashtag no filter perfection it says it's a high performing breakthrough formula it, it features a light adjusting complex and it's tested in seven light conditions with and without flash so it claims to be a non-flashback foundation now i specifically have not had any issues with flashing back with the concealer. So I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with the foundation as well. So I am actually getting ready to do some things today and leave the house in a little bit. So I figured I would sit down with you guys and just do this review. So I picked up two shades. I picked up the shade Toffee and the shade Caramel. So Toffee is a more neutral shade and then Caramel is a bit more on the yellow undertone shade. Now I'm a little bit sunburned on my face right now and Caramel was like my perfect match like about a week ago but for review purposes I'm just going to use one shade because I mean who uses two shades of a foundation at once? Okay high maintenance people like me but the day-to-day -day person doesn't. So I'm gonna be using the shade Caramel, and I think if you guys are more or less my foundation shade, this should work really well. Okay, and in case I didn't mention, these foundations do retail for 100 Rand each, so you can kind of see why I wasn't mad picking up two shades. And then I also picked up the Wet n Wild Flat Top Brush. This is the first brush I'm trying from Wet n Wild, which I'm really excited about. This brush, you guys, was 70 bucks. $69.95. I mean, have you ever come across a flat top kabuki for that price? I mean, I have yet to see how it performs, but let's get into this. So I don't feel like I necessarily need to prime with this foundation, but I am going to go in and just use my Kiki Beauty Makeup Ready Face Primer and just prime one half of my face just to see if there's any difference. If you guys are finicky about the spatula, just put it on the back of your hand or put it on a... Um, what do you call those things? A mixing palette and you'll be good to go. Like I feel like you can easily get around the spatula, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna be using, okay, so I'm gonna use a sponge on one side of my face and use a brush on the other side of my face. I'm gonna start off with the Wet n Wild brush. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm gonna have to say that this foundation is definitely medium to full coverage. I've noticed that you can definitely build up the coverage of this foundation, which is quite nice. So whether you are a medium coverage girl or full coverage girl, this foundation can definitely work for you. So this is just one layer on the side of my face, and I'm pretty happy with the way this foundation brush is performing so far. I feel like it's just as good as my Switch Beauty Total Buffer. Okay, and then going in with my Morphe Beauty Blending Sponge. And I'm just going to start blending this into the skin. The brush side can tend to streak with this foundation, but if you keep working it in, as it dries down, you kind of get a smooth finish. Does that make sense? So the way I like to use this foundation is because it's medium coverage, I like to go in and just put a little bit of extra foundation like on my cheek area because that is, you know, where I have things that need covering up. Also, I just want to note to you guys that building up this foundation is so, so simple because it literally, no matter how much of product you put on your face, this foundation just builds up so so well 
Now, one thing I have to say, you guys, is that when I used this foundation the first couple of times that I did, I had no idea that it was initially marketed as a matte formula. So now that I know that, I have to say, I'm really, really impressed by this version of Wet n Wild's matte formula. Or Wet n Wild's version of a matte formula. Does that make sense? I do have to say the finish on the skin is, it is quite matte, but I would say it's like a soft matte finish because it still has like a skin-like sheen, but it's not completely like powdery matte vibes, you know? Also, I know you guys keep asking me where I get my handheld hand mirrors from. I actually got it from last year's beauty expo, um, the beauty swap or sale expo. Um, from Wow Cosmetics, but they weren't there this year. So I think they are a Durban based company if you guys are interested So to set my under eyes into place, I'm gonna take my luxury banana powder from Revolution, it's actually my favorite you guys this powder keeps you so matte it's insane Now I'm only powdering in the areas where I crease, where I get shiny. Okay you guys, so I'm just gonna go off of camera, finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay you guys, so this is the final makeup look. I'm just gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see what the foundation looks like. And I have to say it looks beautiful on my skin, even though I have, you know, a few imperfections on my skin right now. It's not emphasizing it. It's not making it look some type of cray cray. And so far, I have to say that I am really honestly, truly loving this foundation. It is such a good foundation. And yeah, you can see the matte kind of look on the skin, but it's not like that drying matte texture. Okay, now I haven't been using this foundation with a setting spray and I just want to see like kind of how it wears because it is quite a hot day today. So yeah, I feel like sometimes setting sprays can sort of create some dew on the skin so you don't know the full potential of how matte it can be. And because this is not drying on the skin, I don't feel the need to add a setting spray. Also, one thing that I have to note is even though I did use a very drying powder on the skin, that did not affect the way the foundation is sitting on the skin, which I kind of really appreciate. Also, I know you guys are gonna ask me what lip color I'm wearing. I'm wearing Smashbox True Grit with Ofer Cosmetics Dubai in the center. And yeah, you guys, I'm about to go on with my day. I will check in with you guys in a couple of hours. And the time right now, I have to let you guys know what the time is. The time right now is 9.57. Can you guys see that? Okay guys, so the time right now is currently quarter to three. So I've had this foundation on now for five hours, I would say, and I haven't touched up or anything of that sort. It's also like raining outside, so just bear with me if you guys can hear the rain. Um, yeah, I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see what the makeup looks like. It's actually really, really still looking so amazing. I probably just rubbed my nose a little because I've been sneezing most of the morning. But other than that, the makeup looks really, really bomb. And yeah, let's hop into my final thoughts on this foundation. So I'm gonna have to say that this foundation wears really, really well. I'm super impressed that I'm not as shiny in the center of my face as I can tend to get with other foundations. So that I am super impressed with. And yeah, there is a little bit of creasing in my smile lines, which always happens to me regardless of what foundation I wear. But I notice it's not as noticeable with the specific foundation, if that makes sense. There is really no difference between the prime side and the non-prime side. So overall, I'm gonna have to say that I'm a little mad that Wet n Wild took forever to bring this foundation in because it's really, really such a lovely foundation. The coverage is medium to full and I really don't have any complaints about this foundation because since I've been using it, I have been 
loving it even though it is a matte formula it doesn't stick to dry patches i feel like anyone no matter what what kind of skin texture you have this foundation could definitely definitely work for you so that is it for this video i really hope you guys have enjoyed i really don't have anything more to say and i probably will get a little bit more shinier around my nose area but other than that this foundation looks pretty good it looks like i just applied it you guys and it's like quarter to three so it's insane and i went out in the heat it's cooling down now but i was out in the heat sweating a little bit so the fact that it looks this good is really bomb thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed this video let me know if you tried this foundation and what shade you are in and if you love it just as much as i do and all that good stuff and i'll talk to you guys in my next video but before i go don't forget to slay all day every day with and without makeup bye